Hello there, everyone. Uh, it's my fear, and there's a floater falling down. Yeah, uh, here with my 1022 and the uh, Fab Defense stock on it. Uh, this is an amazing stock. It's a, a very, very well built, well put together uh, little thing. Um, what is it called? Fab Defense New whatever um i will get the actual um where does it want to agh agm 500 whatever uh fab defense israel ufh anyways yeah uh this thing's awesome i i have some i actually got it about 20 minutes before I went to the range with my 1022. I got my 1022, and that day, me and my buddy decided to go to the range. And I didn't have time to make a video throwing it in here. I didn't get to use it with the bipod. I just was able to throw on the scope. I didn't even get to zero it in. But uh, this stock is awesome. It has a full, uh, collapsible stock. You just uh, do, 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 do not fall. Push this button. And... It's going to, one sec, just push that button and it folds into a pistol grip for your 1022. So it folds over. You have all the room you're going to need for your trigger. Uh, it does not get in the way. You have your room for your grip up here. You have enough room if you have one of these extended mags. Obviously, I won't have the room because I live in California and, well, you know, state's stupid. Uh, it didn't come with the... Uh, bipod or the scope i put those on myself it does come with the three rails on the front and it comes with the full length mat uh picatinny rail all the way to the back which has the four screws in the back and then it locks down with these four up here that go into this stock up here and this is metal right here this is metal it's really really nice built i i was surprised that it wasn't just no cheap plastic it is extremely sturdy that's just the magazine yes i safety checked it as you can see no no bullets in there it's open lock back all that um it shoots extremely well um it's very very comfortable it's obviously heavier than just a standard 1022 um no complaints whatsoever about it uh it locks in place it doesn't it is very, very comfortable. Uh, everybody at the range was like, uh, that's not a 22, that is a AR. Why are you at the little plinking side? I was like, yep, yeah, uh, it's a 22, it's nice. The guys even that worked there were like, oh, nice. They were looking at it. Uh, my buddy, he had his 1022 there. He was like, yeah, uh, I think I want to get that. You know, he wants to get a stock like this. He was looking at the uh, Hunter X and uh, I told him about this one. Um, really all you have to do, obviously, if you guys are looking at this, you know what to do, to install your, uh, let me take this off real quick, all you really have to do to install your 1022 is just take off this uh, retaining screw, and then uh, put your safety in the middle, pull it out of your old stock, uh, back it in here, put your receiver in, and then drop it in put that screw in and you're done and then what you have pretty much is just the stock and this uh, there's another model that comes with the adjustable butt piece this one you can adjust the chin rise I just lowered it so I could put it away but it is extremely comfortable uh, with the bipod and the cheek rise the cheek rise sorry uh, I do got a zero in the scope but oh my god this thing is amazing this it's like shooting no rifle obviously i have my 762 my 54 and yeah obviously 22 is no comparison but this is an amazing stock it turns this into a completely different gun uh it's on point already and this this stock is just amazing i will recommend that anybody who thinks about looking at this pick it up um if you want something that looks tactical if you want something that is uh nicely built this one is it's comfortable these grips they uh 
it's very very nice to hold um when you do uh when you do hold it it's very nice obviously you have a ton of uh leeway whenever you oh, if i'm smart yeah if you do want to mount just a red dot which i have a red dot on top of the scope uh if you do want to mount a red dot it's perfectly fine if you want to mount your little muzzle brake it's fine pods whatever flashlights knives i don't know what the hell you want to mount lasers on the sides there's one on this side one on that side they're pre-installed and this is pre-installed so what you get is this it's already attached so what you do is pretty much unscrew these four long screws they're about this long and then you take that off and this whole top it goes all the way back to here it comes with the four screws and the allen wrench inside of here okay you see that and then uh, there's a little button you push down there that pops open there's allen wrench fits all these uh, ones that you would need to adjust right here there is your fold down sights in case you don't want to put an optic on there you still want to use iron sights just fold that back up and then you can still use your iron sights up front looking down bam good to go it's an amazing stock guys uh fab defense uh i'll get the actual name i'll put it in the description uh but it's it's awesome soon after that i'll be putting in a automatic bolt release I heard some good stuff. I heard some bad stuff. You know, you take it with a grain of salt, guys. Uh, I got a buffer coming. I got my charging handle coming. Yeah, I'm going to have fun with this little gun. But anyways, guys, I uh, hope this is a closer look than most because I didn't find any good looks at it. So uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful stock for a pretty little gun. Hi, squirrel. Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. This is, like I said, too. This is well built. Anyways, guys, uh, have a good day. Enjoy your shooting. Bye.